Mitchell set restart as a Papi onto Mella. Good work from Mella. Flicks the ball at the back. Nice pick up of Papi. Throws a dummy. Takes on Thomas. Gets away from him. Pops it over the top. It's four for Ferguson. Unselfish play there from my Papi. Oh, and he's done it. A flip. Comes left. Little flick out the back, kick comes in from Thomas, great pick up, Ferguson, bursts into the backfield, off lows for Epapi, what a take that is, and out to Mella, Mella stretching his legs as well, He's has gone. he got the edge, he has, go on. oh it's a there super go, run, Joey. Joe Mella in for the corner. <laughs> doesn't it for the Bulldogs defense a Pape now he's gonna try and pinch one from close in is that gonna be his first try for the Centurions it is Edwin Epape barges his way over and that could be it Lee running right here at Mount Pleasant they lead by 26 points to nil yeah we spoke about the Papua New Guinean international like Pape and that he would make a difference coming off the bench and there's not much really doing here but he just jumps out of dummy half he leaves the marker brown stood still and it creates a one-on-one -on -one near the goal line it all starts here from reynolds decides to get take the line on the running play there asking questions keeping that defense on it and it's a pape gets a pass brown gets a one-on-one -on -one there with white just has enough strength and power to shrug him off and score so disappointing goal line defense here for the batley bulldogs the centurions now work their way forward the defense in recent weeks has been fantastic but amore goes up the middle gets the ball away Miller going for the line slides his way over yeah, and I just love the way that Edwin Epape just picked the ball up and, and squared the markers up and, and really sunk him in. And it was that line from Amone. You know, he cut straight back behind the ruck, split the defence, but then had the composure and the presence of mind. Look at the line. You know, straight through the centre of this battle defence. And then it was Mella. You know, he still had a lot to do when he got that ball. He gets rid of one, he gets rid of the fullback, and then outpaces Johnny Campbell. But put that down to Epape and Amone. I think the work that they've done through the centre of the field tonight have been fantastic. I think it's a good balance amongst the team, and um, like you said, it's been a fantastic team performance from the Centurions. Yeah, we'll hear from Adrian Lamb, we'll hear from Craig Lingard after the game as well. I'm sure he'll be very disappointed. Oh, he is. Here now goes it, Pape, straight up the middle. Oh. He's racing away, they won't yes. catch him. He gives the fans a wave and dives in for his second of the night. That brings up the 50. This has been a demolition job from the Centurions. They move within one at the top of Featherston. And when we spoke about it, Pape, we didn't expect him to score the try he did in the first half. We were expecting more like that, you know, where he breaks up straight through the middle of the field. Oh, and that was very similar, Hendo, to the try for Great Britain in it 2019. Was. Was. He went Jamie round the fullback then. He goes straight through the middle yeah. of the defence and backs himself. The footwork and the fend, but then the acceleration to you know, beat everyone and the dive. 10 out of 10. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love seeing him getting out of dummy half. He's such a life wise and exciting talent. And he loves it. You can just see he enjoys his rugby league football. And you know, he just puts up the finger there. He's throwing the ball into the Lee faithful behind the sticks there. And look at these teammates. They all love it. He's got that energy and presence about him. And he just lights up this team. And look at him. Oh, he's enjoying it with the celebrations. It must have been as well. a, I love it. Your singing. Yeah. He's <laughs>